See, I'm gonna say me because I think you're, mm. you're not really bossy, but like when I get bossy, I feel like then you try and like stand up with your bossiness a little bit. So I'm gonna say I ain't me. letting you boss me around. That's the thing, <laughs> you are bossy, but I'm just not having it. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Is that a deer? Look, it's a deer. <laughs> That's so stupid, I'll take that out. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not all winners, ladies and gents. <laughs> you know what, this is done, we're over with. <laughs> all right, everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah, this is Rich, and this is Rich and Sarah learning as we grow. All right, you guys, today we are doing- I know she's gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> today we are doing the Mr. and Mrs. Challenge. We did this a long time ago when we just like first started playing around with YouTube, but there was like a copyright thing with the music because we didn't know what we were doing yet. Yeah. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, basically, Rich, I think you remember how to do it, baby. So what yeah. happens is if the correct answer to the question is Sarah, you hold up a pink heart. Boom, 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 boom. And if the correct answer is Richard, aw, <laughs> we hold up a blue heart. For Richie Rich. All right, you guys ready? Bye. And we're gonna answer our honest opinion on these and we're gonna try to get along. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, who is the messiest between the two of us? Oh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it's totally me. It's totally you. But you know what they say, artistic people are messy. Yeah, there's some to that. That's true. I'm artistic. And I'm not. <laughs> Alright. Never no, no, he is. He's just more, it's that military thing, you know? It's like, he's got more order than I do. And I have a lot more stuff. And I'm a little bit more scatterbrained. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Question number two. Who is the best dancer? Oh. Oh, I... Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Oh. See, that's oh. where my creative oh. side comes in. <laughs> yeah. I get that dance and going, girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he All seriously right. is. He's the best dancer. Question number three. Three. Who's the best singer? Oh. Hearts down, it's me. Oh, it's like, <laughs> and it's like such polar opposites. I can't sing and she sings really well. But together, we can sing and dance. That's true. We can <laughs> sing and dance, I like it. Right, okay. Who is the best cook? And oh, honestly, that's... I know what he's gonna say. Yeah. But I don't even know because I feel like it's kind of like if we could do both, but we can't. Cause he's actually a good I'm cook. Not bad, he just right? doesn't like do bad. it as often. I'm but not he's as a good experienced cook. as you though. No. Like you do like chicken cordon bleu and like all kinds of stuff. But I, he worked at I like can cook a, a steak or But he worked at an Italian you know. it's called Claro's. He worked at this like Italian pastry bakery deli. Deli, yeah. And he's so like an Italian market. It's a but honestly, Italian market. it's probably it's still you, because <laughs> you far surpass me. Alright. Yeah. Next question. Who is the most laid back? Oh. Richard. Uh, it's totally you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I'm, can be too. I that's can hard. be, but I'm also very like high strung and I get that's true. nervous easily. So it's totally Richard. And I have like a kind of like I'm on and off. Like if I'm in a work mode, I'm more high strung, like right. stress, want to get something done. And when I'm not, it's like, let's just chill out. So, <laughs> LIVI. Just keep LIVI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, next. Next question. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Who is the funniest? Again, hard Ooh. question. Because he makes me laugh so darn much. Yeah, my perspective, it's you. You're definitely and see, I would player, say you make me laugh all the time. But I isn't that kind of how it works? I feel like I feel like we work together. Like there'll be other people that I'm like, I just do not click well with, and like I'll try and say a joke, and it's like it doesn't go. It doesn't We're land. Like, we, our humor is similar. Our humor is so very we, similar, yeah. and we've so had you friends. You make me like, laugh, so I feel like you're the funniest. Yeah. If I make you laugh, then it's nice that you think I'm the funniest. Yeah. It works out. It's true. And it's always nice I when we have like, boo. I love you too, boo. When I have, when we have like friends who are couple friends, and it, I always love, and we have like maybe two couple love. friends that are this way, where it's like, he gets along with the wife in the same sense of humor, and I get along with the husband with the same sense of humor, and it's kind of just a nice like, cool, we're all just on this little funny yeah, train it's together. It's like Jerry Seinfeld said, it's like four relationships have to work there. Yeah. For two couples to. It's hard. It is. But I love it's a you struggle. Too. I love you, boo. Oh, I almost saw it the wrong one. What is it, Julian? and Julian? She goes, he goes like that. Yeah. He does it like behind his lapel. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Who is the most stubborn? This is a hard one. Oh. This, like, I'm totally going to say it. It's me. You think it's Richard, and he oh. is stubborn, but he's really not. Like, he's also such a, like, I would say going... it's you. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I'm, I'm the only child. No, no, no. <laughs> I, go ahead. You finish. I think with Richard, it's like he's totally the um, 
he can be like the baby of the family in a sense that not that he acts like a baby, like he's the cry baby, but like he is super easygoing with some things. Now with other things, like if he spills on his shirt or something, it's like mass chaos broke out and when I spill I'm like cool, another stain, go along with the grape jelly. Like it's not a big deal. <laughs> but you're more I would say I'm, like I, I would say like generally you're more stubborn. Like the day to day the when day you get day. your mindset on things, that's that. But I would say when push comes to shove, if I am dead set on something, there is like no moving me. Like that's it. So one is that extreme, but it, I think that's more rare than. It's very rare. Right? He's like dead set against him. I'm more like. You know what? This is done. We're over with. <laughs> All right. So I would say me. I would say you too. All right, me. <laughs> but we are both kind of stubborn. We are. We are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> who better. has the who has the worst memory? Oh, but there's no but. There's I mean, there is but. kind of. I have the worst short-term yes. memory. He has great long-term memory. You he can tell me, you what he wore when he was three, it, but he can't tell you. You give me a list that you asked him to buy Cheerios. Yeah, you give me a list and of like four milk. things before I go to the grocery store. I will forget three of those. I will forget one of the four things. It. My short-term memory is awful. And I would but say, if you want to discuss a, dis a discussion that we once had 20 years ago, I will tell you verbatim what we discussed. And I would say, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn so just, here. It's just different. I would say I have a really good short-term memory and a pretty good long-term memory. It's not as good as Richard's long-term memory, yeah, but I have a pretty good memory overall. in general. That's true. I but agree. I am nine months younger than him, so youth, you know, on my side. Please, <laughs> girl. Who is, who? who is the most romantic? Easy. Easy. Oh. I am. Totally. You think totally that? Yeah, I'm not very romantic. I'm kind of like a dude in that way. I'm not very romantic at all. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. He's more romantic. I guess so. He like plans things out and comes up with nice like dates and events and he's but just But you're very, always like, so willing to like. Does public displays of affection and I'm like not that way. It's my <laughs> All right, maybe so. Okay. What were you going to say? No, nah, I was just gonna say I've seen that like you're always so like willing. Like we go traveling and stuff, you're always like willing to do more things that I would enjoy. And although that maybe isn't romantic to some, for me it is. It's like because yeah. I know you're doing it totally out of the kindness of your heart, and you're thinking of me. So I don't know. That's it's hard to sweet. say you're not romantic. I didn't romantic. know that that's what you thought was romantic. That's what I think. It is romantic so when sad. you're like, let's go riding down Mount Haleakala when we're in Maui. Normally you would never get on a bike and do that. But because you wanted to do it and you knew I would want, or because you knew I would want to do something like that, to me that was romantic. Mm -hmm. And then it did become romantic. We got to like have a little lunch in a little tent. I don't know. I don't little know. cows in the pasture. Yeah. That's true. I don't know. Richard's very romantic in the sense that like. I'm like your generic he, romantic, No, he's, so. he's that. But then he's also very good at like, he can just give you a look in the eye and be like, I love you. And you're just like, oh my gosh, he totally loves me and melt him. <laughs> <laughs> He does. And I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I embarrass myself. Um, but I don't even want to ask. I don't even want to ask this one. It's Let's like so it. ridiculous. Who's the best driver out of the out of oh. the two of us? Oh uh, yeah. I what? Oh, you're too. I don't do it. I am. I drive like a sixteen year old. Yes. Well. Let's just leave it at that. I drive like I, a sixteen. Let's just say depth perception isn't <laughs> a gift everyone has. Let's just say that. That's sure. all. And it gets worse with some at night. I have very bad night vision. I'm supposed oh, to wear my glasses like all the time. Like. I am scared for my life. <laughs> okay. I need Next. like NVG night vision. <laughs> you need some NVGs. Like, all right. Here we go. Time to dread. The convoy's begun. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most talkative? Oh, uh, yeah. It's you. Is it? It is. It is. But then when you get Richard like 4 a.m. and he has a thought pop into his pretty little head, he will keep oh, you away. How dare you. All right. I am the most talkative. Yes. Yeah. I but would Richard say... can be very like long-winded. <laughs> oh my gosh. It gets worse. I'm the most talkative for yes. sure. For sure. Sarah's the most talkative. Although I'm not exactly an introvert either. No, he's totally not. So boom. I mean, he's talkative, but I'm like... Above and Sarah's always talkative. We're like, I have moods, you know? Like, when I'm talkative and I really want to talk, I talk. But when I don't, like, just whatever. Done. Yeah. Dude. 
<laughs> who, who is the bossiest? Oh, I'm still gonna say me. See, I'm gonna say me because I think you're mm. you're not really bossy, but like when I get bossy, I feel like then you try and like stand up with your bossiness a little bit. So I'm gonna say I ain't letting you boss me around. That's the thing, <laughs> you are a bossy, but I'm just not having it. But <laughs> I'm bossy for and the good. I'm not All having it, bossy. I'm going to boss We're you We're bossy back. for the good of the family, mom. Please. So who is it? I'm not having it, it's still me. We don't have to agree on this All one. right, we don't agree. Put that down. <laughs> All right, next one. Read the next one. <laughs> who is the first one up in the morning? Wait, who is the never do that. Who is the first one up in the morning? And we'll just leave it at that. No, I <laughs> that though is ever since we had children. That's ever since like I mean I've never like been the type that sleeps in. I no, 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 I'm not saying that. In the but I'm saying to be the first one up. When we were, when we didn't have children, usually I was the first one up because I'd like go to work and yeah. You because would, you go to you work would, at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, but you would get up even even I would then. I'd breakfast. say you would get up with me. Yeah. I was just the first one up technically. Sure. But then once we had children, like easily you're the first one up. Ever and our since. kids are ridiculously, ridiculously early risers, and all yes. you people are like put them to bed later. No. It doesn't Our kids matter, go to bed at one in the morning after Disneyland, and they will still They'll wake still up at five thirty-six. Yeah, easy. But yeah, I think now... And I'm then we're just tired because we try to keep up, keep them up. And I think Richard's right. Now I'm probably the one that is always up in the early morning. Before I would get up to like make him breakfast and stuff before we had kids. Um, but I think I would go back probably. Like I would, would, I would never yeah, have been know. up if Richard wasn't up. Like that's the truth. Okay. But you don't like to... Eat. What you don't big... do is if I get up, you don't want to just like lie there and still sleep. No, it you bothers always get me. Up. It bothers me to know that he's like up and about in the house and like... Mm -hmm. I just don't want him to like leave his day without saying goodbye to me or saying See, that's romantic. Going back to it. See, girl, you are romantic. You know, <laughs> All right. Go ahead. All right, next question. Mm -hmm. Who apologizes first after an argument? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Because I don't like the conflict to go on. <laughs> I like to say my mean thing and then I like to just apologize after. It's true. You do. You do apologize. It's not like he's horrible at it either, though. We're both pretty like. I'm just never sorry. <laughs> so bossy. <laughs> We'll just leave it at that. Marital bliss. Let's leave it. Let's leave it at that. that. Let's sleeping dogs lies. That's right. <laughs> All right. Next one. All right. I don't even. It's like they made this to make me in trouble. Like, they like, like, let's get married people to fight. <laughs> Who That's spends great. the most money? Easily. But that's because Richard still wears shirts that he had from high school. You guys. They he still, still have t-shirts from high. That's supposed to mean. Uh, no. Um, yeah. So it's not like I would say I go out and I spend like five hundred dollars on shoes and purses no. anymore. But I, <laughs> yeah. but but I do spend more than Richard. But that's because Richard lives like a church mouse. But <laughs> I would. I mean, in all fairness, I would say that I am like uh, I'm cheap with myself. Okay. Next See, question. Short -term <laughs> I don't remember it. <laughs> Again, trying to get me in trouble. Who is the bed hog between the two of us? Gosh, this is like... I can't find my... Here, I got it. There you go. It's <laughs> stuck. She is. And I love to like spread out on a bed. But I'm considerate when I'm sleeping next to you. And a lot of times we have kids in the bed, so that doesn't help either. And that is awful. But I like to sprawl out. Yeah. As well. He likes to sprout out too, but I'm too. just kind of like, I usually do have a kid in bed, I'll be honest. We usually have a kid run in at some point. Although, funny night. story. The first night we were married, I go to roll over, and I'm not used to anybody oh being in the gosh. bed, and I am leading with my elbow, and at the very same second, Sarah is getting up to adjust herself, and I literally just went boom! In his and sleep. And just knocked literally, her in the head. It's the right, just boom, right on the forehead. Just right on the forehead and kind of the eye, and it's like the next day, it was just like, that was our wedding night. The next morning, we woke up, and we're heading on a plane to Maui, and I remember I was like, I have this horrible headache. And I had I knew, because my elbow hurt. He blocked me. My elbow hurt, that's I didn't how remember, bad like, it was. I knew being hurt in the night somehow, but I didn't remember it like, the I next morning. I clocked her hard, and I felt so bad about it. And then from then on, it was like, okay, let me stay at my corner. Because I'm a bad dog, always All right. Who is the biggest baby when they're sick? Yours is backward. Can you see ah. how I made it? Wait, look how I made this, you guys. It's tape. And you know I'm a teacher Can when I you see that kind of tape. 
and a party fork. Nice. <laughs> Can I give it like this? Like it's me, but... What? I have babies like a freaking champ, so you can't, I don't complain. I'm like, what epidural? What? Babe. When you're sick. <laughs> you know, all right, all right, all right. All right I was like, I can't right, believe you said that. Because every time me. I go to have a baby, they're like, wow, she's got such a high pain tolerance. Yeah, but having a baby and being sick are two different things. I was well, that's about true. Who handles pregnancy the best? You know what? <laughs> It's Sarah, everyone. When I have a cold, but, he's right. When I have a cold, okay, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's the kind of people that are like Rich and my dad and Robbie. Uh, I don't like sick, where this is going. <laughs> when they're sick, they go in the back room, they sleep 16 hours. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be messed with, don't talk mess to. With me. And then they come out and they're fine. Yep. Or they're better. I am the kind of person that likes to lay on the couch and I want everybody amongst, all of amongst us. the family and I want everybody to come pay their respects They're, to me yeah, and you homage. know just yes let me know that they love me and that's can I rub your feet mama or fluff your pillow so yeah I like that I guess so you're a little so, baby you know what let's, but let's when I'm when I'm real sick I do like to be kind of like nursed he does I do but see I'm the worst person because when you're really sick and you're like I'm very much like you are quarantined now to a room because yeah, you she don't want to get that's it. the thing. She quarantines me. Quarantines I will knock on the door. I will throw you your soup under so the door. Like, so maybe I seem more needy because I'm like, please, somebody talk to me. All right, so let's say both of us. Ready? All right, we'll say both. Boop. Both of us. It's just different. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Who has the best taste in music? Oh, we both know <laughs> this guy. It totally is rich. Rich has the best taste. Ooh. He'll always say, here, let, I want you to hear this song for a minute. And, let me, and then I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Is that the song of the angels? Like, that is I amazing. Do, he has the music. best taste. And you know what it is? I think it's because I like a lot of things. He does. So I explore. And so I end up finding stuff. And he'll always pick a song that, like, or a, a band that isn't known yet. And then, like, you'll all of a sudden, like, a year from now, I'll be like, oh my gosh, they're famous now. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, Rich. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I didn't want to do this one because I feel like, meh. Like, I don't know. Meh about meh. it. But you feel like, meh. we have to answer it. Like I know. Like emojis? Emoji movie. Meh. Who is the best looking? And I'd be dumb if I didn't say him because I love him. I'm in love with him. That's a, that's a, <laughs> it's like a trick question. That's a foolish question. I know. Because I don't, I'm not attracted to me. I'm attracted to you. <laughs> like, that's why I married you. But I'd hope you would think the same thing. <laughs> That seems like a foolish question. <laughs> All right, you like, guys. I am. It's actually me. I am. Are you guys? That's I, it. That's it. That's that was it. like twenty questions. We're doing this again at night, and every time I do this, I'm like, oh, your job. No, but that was already that twenty was questions. That was tw that was more than twenty, I think. Yeah. Wow. That was it. I went by quick. I went by fast. That was it. I hope you enjoyed. The Mr. and Mrs. Challenge that we have on there right now are probably going to delete because it doesn't have you any audio to it. You can't hear it. It's like so an author. So we gave you a double dose of Mr. and Mrs. Second go of it. Second Phase go of two. it. Phase two. Volume two. All right, you guys. So we don't have any way to say manana tonight. What's it going to be us? It's just going to be us. All right, you guys. So keep sending us your keep on growing PC and manana. Mm -hmm. And tonight, Rich is actually going to end it. All right. Because I need more people to send in their we need more. videos. Send we them need in. More. You all keep telling me it's on its way. It's coming. You Bring it. it Email it to have me. Have you seen the great ones that have, we've already put we've up? We've got some great ones up Come there on and now. some great channels. You guys need to go check them out. Check them out. Make sure you're subscribed to us. Click that little bell. Give her a ring, Richard. Give that little bell a ring. Ring. <laughs> And we will see you. What about the thumbs up? Oh, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Keep growing. Peace. See you manana. <laughs> he hasn't done it in so long, he's like rusty. I was like, yeah! <laughs> My turn! Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you yes. tomorrow! <laughs>